The chromatography kit comes with four buffers, equilibration, binding, wash, and elution buffers. Do not contaminate the bottles or mix up the order of their use. These columns should be stored vertically and never be allowed to dry out. Each column will contain storage buffer and a white resin bed. The resin beads have been coated with a hydrophobic coating. There is a stopcock valve that controls the draining of the liquid in the column. To prepare the column, you should remove the bottom end cap and replace it with a pipette tip. You will also need to remove the top end cap. Each group should place their column on a vertical stand, high enough so that the column can drain into a waste beaker or cup. Depending on what your distribution center or school supplies, your standard setup may vary from what is shown here. Important rules for this experiment. Never let the column resin go dry. Always drip liquid down the column wall so that the resin bead is not disturbed. One partner should set up and prepare the column on a stand. Turn the stopcock valve into the vertical direction so that the storage buffer can flow into the waste beaker. When the liquid is just above the resin bed, turn the stopcock to the horizontal direction to stop the liquid flow. Slowly add 2 milliliters of equilibration buffer to the wall of the column near the top so that the resin bed will not be disturbed. The equilibration buffer ensures that the resin beads will be at the same high salt concentration as the protein sample. Allow the buffer to flow through. Be sure to close the valve when the liquid is just above the resin bed. One partner should prepare the protein sample. Obtain the microfuge tube containing the supernatant for the bacterial cell lysis. Add 200 microliters of the binding buffer to the 200 microliter supernatant. Cap and invert twice to mix well. Add the 400 microliter sample mix to the column. Then drain the column until almost dry. As there is a high salt concentration at this step, hydrophobic areas of the proteins will bind to the hydrophobic resin beads. Any proteins that are mainly hydrophilic will bypass the resin beads and flow down quickly into the waste beaker. Notice that the pink liquid will be sitting on top of the white resin bed. The next step is to add one milliliter of wash buffer, which is a moderate salt concentration. Proteins that are moderately hydrophobic will be released from the beads and flow through the column. The next step is to add 2 milliliters of elution buffer, which is a very low salt concentration. It causes the proteins to change shape and cover up their hydrophobic areas, so that they do not bind to the hydrophobic resin beads anymore. Red fluorescent protein will be released from the column and flow down. You will be collecting the pink drops into a clear microfuge tube. If you are trying to get the most concentrated RFP, you may want to collect the initial and final pink drop in one tube and have a second tube to collect the darkest pink liquid. You can look at the RFP in visible light, UV light, and blue light. Maybe your class can have a contest to see who did the best job in purifying the largest amount or most concentrated RFP. Have fun with this experiment.